To be admired. Gaining the respect of your colleagues is crucial to professional success. There is no one-size-fits-all technique, but these tips will help en route to reverence. By Joanna Leggett. Key takeaways from this audio article. 1. A recent survey shows 70% of employers recognize workplace dignity. 2. Employees who are focused on appearing nice are always agreeable, but if you want respect, you need to speak up. And three, part of respecting others is knowing how to disagree or challenge their view in a healthy way. Most of us would agree that being respected by our colleagues is important to us. However, building trust and admiration in the workplace takes hard work. Networking and leadership expert Janine Garner, author of Be Brilliant, How to Lead a Life of Influence, says the respect of others is a tricky quality to manifest because it requires effort as well as self-reflection. She says it's very different from being liked. Trying to be liked can perpetuate a focus on doing whatever you think needs to be done for approval. And that can mean not speaking up or doing what is right. Companies are also starting to appreciate the high value placed on respect, which is now seen as a fundamental part of boosting productivity and worker well-being. The recent survey by Willis Towers Watson Workplace Dignity reveals 70% of employers recognize workplace dignity, which includes feeling respected proud and valued as vital to company success. The fastest way to earn the trust and respect of your co-workers is to not burn them in front of others, says Martin Moore, co-founder of the leadership organization, your CEO mentor. He says, show that you're not interested in the political games, but are actually more focused on the outcomes for the organization. If you have a general demeanor that lets other people know you are not driven by self-interest, that translates very well into trust and respect at the peer level, he says. You also need to demonstrate that you are not just pushing your own barrel, but focused on the main goal. If you're willing to put aside what you're doing to help a team member's project that is more important for the organization, then nothing builds respect faster than that, Moore says. Janine Garner says that consistent behavior is also essential for gaining the respect of co-workers. People want to be treated the same, she says. You need to walk the talk, and when people say what they mean, and their behavior follows through with it, that leads to respect. Employees who are focused on appearing nice are always agreeable, but if it's respect you're after, you need to speak up. Martin Moore says the ability to disagree with someone respectfully, even if they are more senior, is a great way to gain respect. It's what people call corporate courage, he says. Janine Garner adds, people will also respect you if you are courageously you, which is really tough. People need to be courageous enough to bring their entire self, strengths and weaknesses, into the picture, she says. When people are not being themselves, they are faking it until they make it and putting up boundaries so they can be liked. Calling out bad behavior when you see it is another important attribute. People admire it because sometimes they haven't had the courage to do it themselves, Janine Garner says. She says it's hard because being non-conforming is beaten out of us when we are kids. But you really do need to be the change you want to see in the world. If you're in a senior role that involves managing people, You need to adapt your approach, depending on who you are working with, to gain their respect. Good leaders don't need to tell people what to do, Moore says. If one of your people is immature or inexperienced, you may need to be more direct or prescriptive with them. 
If one of your people is immature or inexperienced, you may need to be more direct or prescriptive with them. But with people who are performing at the right level, you want to set broad parameters for them and work collaboratively. Ghana says that your colleagues will also appreciate it when you are fair and honest without displaying judgment. We unconsciously put people into boxes, so being able to be curious about where they are coming from is important. How can you build respect if you don't respect those around you? She notes. Once you have established trust with colleagues, it becomes easier to disagree or challenge their views in a healthy way. If people trust and respect you, there is nothing you can't say to them, Martin Moore says. You can be open in a respectful way so that delivering a hard message becomes easy because you know that you're communicating on that solid ground of respect.